Hey there, everybody. So this is a quick video. Um, I haven't seen anybody else talk about this information, and uh, it's a video I would have liked to have seen. So I figured, you know what? If I would like to see it, I'm sure there's other people out there that would like this information. So what I did is um, I compared the Hanamule Photo Rag Bar Barita paper. We're going to say it's Barita. I'm not sure really. I've never, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, with the Moab by Legion paper Juniper paper. And uh, this was all printed from the same file. And uh, I, it's interesting. So uh, the, I, I have two quick conclusions from printing the same file on two different papers that are in the same same league. The, the Juniper is a, a Barita rag, 100% cotton paper as well. Now, uh, one of the interesting things is uh, the Moab says it's uh, GSM weight 305, and the Hanamule says it's uh, 315 GSM weight. Uh, so maybe the GSM weights are so subtle you can't tell a difference, or maybe uh, it's kind of like up to the manufacturer to figure out how they're measuring it. But uh, so one, th one difference between the two papers is the Moab paper actually feels thicker, even though it's not supposed to be. So I, uh, yeah, interesting. It, it just has a little bit of a thicker feel. Um, okay, so uh, not, but the Hanamule still has a very good, high quality, uh, fine art feel. All right, the two major differences between this paper that I can see, and you're not gonna see this on video, uh, you'd have to see the prints in person because it's really subtle. Although you might be able to see this one. The Moab paper is a little creamier. It's a little bit more off-white in direct comparison to the Hanamule. The Hanamule is a little bit whiter. Um, if I just saw the Moab by itself, I would say it's white. I, I wouldn't say it's creamy. Um, but when you absolutely have them next to each other on top of each other, Moab is ever slightly a little bit more off-white than the Hanamule. So that's one physical difference. It's not something that's a, that I would, that's a deal breaker, okay? However, what is kind of a deal breaker for the Moab is that these are the exact same prints, uh, exact same files printed on the exact same printer to the exact same size. And what I find interesting, so when you print on, let's say Epson Premium Luster or Canon's Premium Luster paper, the more or less expensive resin coated papers. The prints have this look where the ink tends to sit on top of the paper, uh, particularly when you compare that to a darkroom print uh, or a real photo photographic uh, color, color print, uh, wet process color print. The, the real photographs look as if the ink is in the paper not on the paper and with a real photograph it's not ink it's actually chemicals inside the paper in layers so so I, i'm assuming that's where that effect comes from um, inkjet prints have this tendency uh and it's very subtle don't get me wrong but but it's there <clears throat> inkjet prints have this 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 tendency to look like the ink is sitting on top of the paper and it's and and the image isn't in the paper um, what's interesting is the hanamule Ha compared to the Moab, has this look <clears throat> where the ink is in the paper, not, not sitting on top of the paper. The Moab uh, paper has more of that Epson premium luster look <clears throat> or the, um, or the uh, Canon premium luster look, the resin coated look, even though it's a Barta paper. With, uh, other than that, um, it's, it's, it does a nice job. It's a beautiful feeling paper. It's got a beautiful texture. I, I may even prefer the texture to the, to the uh, Hanamule, um, but, but the Hanamule, there, there's more of a, of a 3D look to it. Where, like I said, where, the, where with the Moab paper, it looks like the ink's sitting on top of the paper. With the Hanamule, the ink is look, it looks like it's in the paper and it's shining outward. It has more of a 3D presence. To it. Um, other than that, I mean, I, I could use the Moab. It's just that the Hanamule gives me a better print, uh, and it's the best inkjet looking print. It's the best inkjet print I, I've seen. Uh, so, 
So I'm sticking with the Hana Mule for now and I'm uh, always looking for to try something uh, new and, and see if there's something better out there. But but uh, I can confirm the Hana Mule is the better paper. Now I'm talking about the last half a percent here, okay? So um, I'm not talking about like night and day difference, um, th that kind of a deal. This is like this is like golf scores, you know. You you, w you win the cup by one stroke. So, yeah, that that's what that, that's what that's what we're talking about here. Hanamule's winning the cup, but the, but they're but the, both of these papers are in the Masters. Let me put it to you that way, for to use a golf analogy. All right, so um, that's it, and I appreciate it, and that's the information for today. Something uh, something I haven't seen out there, and um, some people might find it useful. All right, have a good one. We'll catch you guys later. Bye.